Hey guys, I'm Saurav. In this video, I will be talking about some very amazing mobile photography ideas. Now, I have made videos related to mobile photography where I share some tips on how to use your mobile camera to its best. But in this video, I will be showing you some practical ideas where you can use your mobile phone and get creative images. I'm very excited. Hope you are too. Without wasting any time, let's get started. The first idea we are talking about light painting using mobile phones. Now, if you don't know what light painting is, basically it's an image which is taken with a slower shutter speed where the light source is moved continuously so that it looks like a painting with a light source. What we are doing here is we are using mobile phones as our light source. What I'm doing in this particular image is I'm taking different smartphones and I've downloaded images with blue color, white, green and different colors. You get the idea, right? And what I'm doing is I'm now moving the mobile phones and I'm using a slower shutter speed to get this light painting effect. To take an image with a slower shutter speed, you make sure the focus is locked onto your subject and then use a slower shutter speed. Now you can start with 1 seconds and go to 5, 10, 15, 20 depending on what kind of image you want to take. You can be a lot more creative with your light trails and you will get very creative images. Just make sure you're using a proper sturdy tripod and you're taking the image. The second idea is shooting through an object. Now what do I mean by that? Now as you can see this image, there is a foreground and midground and the background. Your subject is not the foreground. It might be in the midground or background and for the foreground, I'm using a different object. You can use any kind of card paper and fold it or you can also use a bottle which is cut in two parts. You can be a lot more creative. But you get the idea, right? You have to shoot through it. What this does, it gives you a different dimension because now your foreground have become a lot more interesting. Make sure you tag me on Instagram with the hashtag shoot with Saurav and I'll get to see your images and I'll post them on my story if I find that image worth it. The next idea we are talking about is using a mobile phone or a glass surface for reflection. Now when you're shooting any particular subject like a building or a monument, if it had reflection, it might look much better. But every time you won't find a water surface or somewhere where you can get that reflection. What you can do is you can place a glass or a different smartphone just beneath your camera and tilt it in a way that you see the reflection and you can take the image. You can convert a very boring subject to a very interesting one just by incorporating some reflection. The next tip is underwater mobile photography. Yeah, you heard me right. Nowadays, a lot of flagship smartphones are waterproof, but not all the phones are waterproof. Does that mean you can't do underwater mobile photography? No, that's not the case. You can do it. The images you're seeing right now, that's actually taken with a smartphone where the smartphone didn't even touch the water. Yes, how I did it is I took a jar and I placed the mobile phone into it. You can take any object that is transparent. Just make sure the object is clear enough so that you get good quality images. Just place the object in the water, place the mobile phone so that the mobile phone doesn't touch the water. Be careful and you can take images underwater even though you don't have a waterproof mobile phone. The last idea we are talking about is shooting upside down. See this image. How was this taken? The mobile phone was actually placed flat and the camera was facing upwards. Then how did I take the image? What I did is I actually used a timer. So you can set a 5 second or a 10 second timer depending on the situation and I counted and I jumped at the right moment. Now what this does is it gives you a completely different perspective. Especially if you have a wide angle camera, you will see that you are able to capture action wide images that you were not able to capture before. People will think you used a GoPro or some other camera but you know the truth right? We just used a mobile phone and made sure the angle is perfect. So I hope these ideas were helpful guys. I tried to do something new in this video. I tried to experiment and show you the much more practical side of mobile photography. If you like the video, press the like button. Share it with your friends. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.